Hello yogis and welcome to this week's class. We'll be starting meditating today, so make sure you have a nice comfy seat, maybe a cushion, a bolster or a big pillow to sit on. Get yourself comfy and get ready to find some light. All right, yogis, hopefully you've now found yourself a comfortable place to seat, sit. It could be in a chair, it could be straight on the floor. You might want to raise your hips up a little bit above ground level, just to give you space across the front of the hip flexors. So make sure you're nice and comfy. And then let's start. Close down the eyes. Let the body settle into your seat. Sit up nice and tall. And start by bringing your awareness to whatever is touching the earth. So the legs, the sit bones, let them grow heavy down into the ground. And let the hands rest heavy on the lap. And then find the complete opposite sensation, the length from tailbone to crown. And the lightness in the upper body and face grounding in the lower body, lightness in the upper body. Take a few breaths here in stillness, letting your breath move you, just observing where your breath is at today. And slowly bring your awareness to the crown of the head, so right to the top of the line of energy that reaches from tailbone to crown. Now your crown, just see a bright orb of light, warm, expansive, bright. And the feeling here is that of a summer's day when a shaft of light just lands on the crown of your head, bringing with it a feeling of softness, of melting into the current moment, and of warmth. See this light above your head, and then watch as it takes on a liquid quality and starts to trickle down the face and the back of the head. Watch as the light touches the face and the muscles of the face start to soften and fall open. Forehead melts. Muscles of the cheeks and around the eyes, the jaws. Take a big breath into this area and release any tension on a breath out. Now watch as the light travels down, down the neck, the throat, and lands on the tops of the shoulders as if you have sunlight kissing the tops of the shoulders, warming you up. Notice if there's any tension here that has been building up throughout your day. Take a big breath into the neck and shoulders. And on your exhale, release. Now we watch as the light travels down the arms. It's almost like it's wrapping you in this feeling of warmth, of softness, and of expansiveness. Watch as it travels down the upper arms, the elbows, the forearms, the wrists, the hands, and then the fingers, a bright speck of light appearing at the tip of each finger in turn as they fill up with light. Breathe into the length of the arms. And as you exhale, find softness. Come now to the heart space and watch as the light travels down through the head, through the neck and straight to your heart. Take a deep breath in to fill up with light. And as you exhale, send that light, shine it out into the space around you. 
Inhale, breathe light in. Exhale, breathe light out. Inhaling to fill up, heart space opens, bright. Exhale, breathe it out, soften. Now we send awareness and light down into the belly. Watch as your breath changes subtly as we now breathe all the way down into the belly. Diaphragmatic breathing, inhaling here and exhaling. Belly is soft. Grounding on each exhale. Bringing our awareness to the lower back body and all the areas of the lower torso. Just surrounding them with this light, warm, soft, expansive. Last big breath in here. And really land in your seat as you exhale. Entire upper body bathed in light. Open and soft. We now start to travel into the lower body, bringing our awareness to the pelvis. And see the pelvis as like a bowl that starts to fill up with light from above. So it's pouring down. And any areas of tension or tightness are just slowly being softened and being released. Breathe into this area for a few moments, giving it your full attention. And slowly start to allow the light to travel down into the legs. Watch as the light starts to wrap its way around the thighs, the knee joints, the lower legs, the ankles, heels, feet and toes. Filling all the way down into the very end of the toes and watching as a tiny spark of light comes out of the end of each toe as it fills up in turn. See now the entire body shining bright, open, warm, surrounded by this feeling of lightness. Fix that image in the mind's eye for a moment. Breathe light into the entire body. And send light out as you breathe out. And now just for a moment, direct your attention back to the heart space. See the light right there at the heart that you have ignited, that you have brought your awareness back to. This light that is yours and only yours to shine. That is completely unique. Let that light shine bright, whatever it looks like. Open the heart and sit up tall. One breath here. And as you exhale, just drop your focus completely. Let the mind fall open. Slowly guide the awareness back to the body, the weight of the lower body on the earth, the hands on the lap or the legs. Take a deep breath in through the nose and let it out through the mouth. Full inhale. And then clear it out. Last big breath in. Full breath out to release. And then slowly bat open the eyes. And land yourself back in the room. Mm. And then for this next little move, I find it really more powerful if you drop the seat back down onto the earth. So take a moment to release any bolsters or blocks that you're sitting up on. Drop the seat down. 
And when you're ready, just slowly walk the fingertips forward, stretch out through the back body and release the forehead down towards the mat. Don't worry if it doesn't touch the mat, just let it soften. Ground down into the sit bones and melt down into the earth. Breathing deep into the upper back body. So really feel as if your heart space is expanding through the back of your rib cage to the sky as you inhale. And then allow that same heart space to soften to the earth as you exhale. Two more breaths here. Releasing any tension that might have built up in the body from our little sit. Last big breath in. Full breath out. And then slowly roll all the way up to seated. And we're just going to take a gentle twist first to the left. Keeping your right hand in your lap and just um, reaching the left fingertips around behind the back body. So no need to kind of force or use your hands to crank the body around here. Just find a soft opening across the heart space. Sit up tall. Then use the muscles of the torso to gently open the heart. Big breath in. Whole front body shines open to the left as you breathe out. One more inhale. Full exhale. Gently come back through center as you inhale and float to the other side as you exhale. Big breath in to find length. Long breath out to spiral open. So every breath in draws you a little taller and every breath out hugs everything into center and just spirals the heart open. Two more. Last breath in. Full breath out. Come back to center and all we're gonna do is gently switch the cross of the legs. So bring opposite heel in first. Take a big breath in here to find length. And that fold back down to the earth again with your exhale, softening down. Finding whatever comes up on this side. Notice the sensation in the hips. Notice any stretch there any areas of tightness and send your breath into these areas. Three rounds of breath here. Last full breath in. Long breath out. Slowly roll all the way back up to seated. Take your time. And this time we're going to let the rest, sorry, left hand rest in the lap. Right fingertips come out to your side. Take a big breath in to find length. And gently drop left ear over to left shoulder as you exhale. So stretching through the right side of the neck and all the way out into the right fingertips. Breathe into the side body. Shoulders glide down and breath out. And then you have the option to bring the left hand to the head, not to pull down, but just to add a little weight there, let gravity do the work. Two more breaths, eyes can close down. Find a softness, slowly warming up, last breath in. Long breath out. Come back to center as you inhale, release the left fingertips by your side right hand into the lap, inhale tall, exhale right ear to right shoulder, find the length on this side and this can actually build up to be quite an intense stretch quite quickly so feel into it first before you bring in the right hand, close down the eyes, turn your inner gaze towards the neck and the top of the left shoulder and then maybe for the last couple of breaths you bring the right hand to the head, not to pull down, but just to add a little bit of weight. Last breath in. Full breath out. Inhale to come back to center. 
and just bend up the knees, cross the ankles, and we're gonna have a little play. So make sure you're sat nicely in the middle of your mat. Bring your hands around behind the backs of the thighs. Start by sitting up tall on an inhale, and then roll back on an exhale. Come back up as you breathe in. Exhale, roll all the way back, and then keep going with your breath. Find a momentum, rocking and rolling. Um, massaging out the back body and then in a moment we're going to do something kind of crazy so listen carefully when I say we're going to come forward plant the hands on the mat and hop back to downward facing dog so one more roll back next time you come forward hands plant whoop, down dog <sighs> arrive yourself here take a huge breath in and land on a breath out <sighs> allow that childlike energy to just emanate all the way through the body. Let go of any seriousness or anything that you're holding onto here that is not serving you. And find a lightness, a curiosity for how your body is feeling today, for where your mind is at. Big breath in here. And let it out through the mouth. Then three breaths to find stillness or movement, whichever your body is craving. Big inhales and full exhales. Last one. Then come high on the toes as you inhale, look forward. Bend the knees to exhale and slow walk to the front of the mat. Take your time. When you arrive halfway left, your version, but really take your time to inhale into it. And exhale, bow, soften, release. Ragdoll, holding opposite elbows, or just letting the fingers waft from side to side. Three breaths. Again, let's tap into that feeling of lightness, of childlike curiosity. And if there's still anything you're holding on to, use your breath. Exhale it out. Two more. Last one. Really release. Nice. Then a slow roll to standing. Take your time. When you arrive, shoulders up to the ears. Exhale, draw them all the way down the back body. Palms face forward, Tadasana, mountain pose. Find your fierce gaze straight forward. Shoulders draw down, big inhale. Strong legs as you exhale. Then inhale to sweep the fingertips wide and high. Exhale to slice a line through center, bow. Halfway lift, breathe in. Fold, breathe out. Straight back up to the sky. Inhale, reach for the sun. Exhale, catch its light and bring it to your heart. Then send that light straight back up. Inhale. Exhale, bow, soften to the earth. Halfway lift, breathe in. Fold, breathe out. This time, plant the hands. Right foot steps back. Inhale. Right knee lowers as you exhale, ground into your foundation, then inhale, open up, reach high. Exhale, rain it straight back down. Tuck back toes, straighten the leg, inhale. Down dog, exhale, stretch it out, full breath in. Full breath out, soften in the face and neck. Inhale, look forward, right foot steps up. Left knee lowers, breathe out. One inhale to open up. Exhale to rain it down. Tuck back toes, straighten the leg, breathe in. Down dog, breathe out. Inhale to arrive. Exhale to land. High on the toes, breathe in, look forward. Bend the knees, this time step it up as you exhale. Inhale to lift halfway, your version. Exhale, fold, soften. Straight to the sky, breath in. Hands to heart, breath out, home base, then left side, breathe in, reach. 
Exhale, fold. Lift halfway. Bow, plant the hands. Left foot steps back. Lower on the exhale. And then like a wave, inhale, reach high. Exhale, straight back down. Tuck back toes, straighten the leg, inhale. Down dog, exhale, stretch it out. Press into the hands, inhale, hips high. Exhale, heavy heels towards the earth. Left foot steps up, inhale. Right knee lowers, exhale. Big breath in to reach high. Long breath out to bow down low, plant the hands. Tuck the back toes straight and inhale. Down dog, exhale. Take a full breath in. Full breath out. High on the toes, look forward, inhale. Bend the knees, step to the front, exhale. Halfway left, breathe in. Fold, completely soften down, breathe out. And reach wide and high, inhale. Hands to heart, exhale. Now listen carefully, this time we inhale, reach high. But as we exhale, right hand forward, left hand back, gentle bend of the knees, open twist to the left. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, shine your heart to the right. Inhale, high. Exhale, twist to the left, thumbs point up to the sky. Inhale, reach. Exhale, open, drawing the right shoulder back. Then inhale up to the sky, and this time bow down. Exhale, <sighs> halfway lift, breathe in. Bow, breathe out, plant the hands. Right foot steps back, inhale. Right knee lowers, exhale. Breath in to come high. This time we twist as we exhale, right hand forward, left hand back. Nice, keep the front knee where it is, inhale, reach. Exhale now, open to the right. Big breath in, reach high. Exhale, rain it down, plant the hands. Tuck back, toes straight in the leg, inhale. Down dog, exhale. Full breath in. Press into the hands, find your foundation as you breathe out. Right foot steps up. Lower back knee on your breath out. Then inhale, really open up. This time we twist to the left, sorry, to the right. Left hand forward, right hand back. Inhale, reach high. Firm foundation. Exhale to open up. Breath in, reach high. Exhale, rain it down. Tuck back, toes straight and breathe in. Down dog as you breathe out. Full breath in. Full breath out. High on the toes, look forward. Bend the knees, step it up, exhale. Halfway lift, breathe in. Fold, breathe out. And straight to the sky on your inhale. Exhale, hands to heart, close down the eyes for a moment. Find the length in the spine. And then gently tuck chin to chest. Bowing head to heart, thumbs press into the sternum, find stillness and use your breath just to fan and ignite that heart light at the heart center to give it life and to allow it to shine in whatever way it is here to do. Big breath in. Full breath out. Nice, fat open the eyes. Sweep the hands wide and high. Exhale, fold really nice and slow. Our halfway lift comes next. Breath in, float up. Fold, plant the hands this time as you exhale. Step the right foot back and then the left foot back to join it in high plank. Take a huge breath in, just one here to shift forward, inhale. Then lower all the way down, elbows staying tight as you exhale. Allow the forehead to completely soften to the mat, glutes to soften, feet to soften, hands plant on the mat either side of the ribcage, elbows squeeze in tight. Take a big breath in here and allow the body to release down as you breathe out. Then press down into the earth, inhale, baby cobra, just lift the front body. Exhale, soften it down. 
So no tension in the neck as you inhale, lift. Exhale, soften. The chin can stay gently tucked to chest. One more, elbows stay in tight, press into the tops of the feet. Forward on the exhale. Come up through all fours, nice and slow. Tuck the toes and really draw the seat back as you exhale and make your way to downward facing dog. So taking time here and taking care, just reminding ourselves of our theme from a couple of weeks ago. Big breath in, full breath out. And then right heel slides to the sky behind you, inhale. Look forward, step it up as you exhale, ground the front foot down. Find your foundation, inhale. Exhale, firm down into the feet. And then on your breath in, hands raise high, Anjani Asana, crescent lunge. Drop the tailbone down, get strong in the legs, and light and airy in the upper body, the fingertips. Three breaths, fierce gaze, inhale. Exhale, breath in, breath out, last one, and then really reach high into the fingertips as you breathe in, warrior two to breathe out, right hand forward, left hand back, bend into the front knee, plant the back foot down to the ground, so that the back of the foot is parallel with the back of the mat. And open across the heart and gaze forward past the front middle finger. Full breath in and soften into it on the breath out. Inhaling. Exhaling. One more big breath in. Full breath out. And then straighten the front leg as you inhale. Sassy kick of the hips to the back, exhale. Reach forward, breathe in. Right hand down, left hand high as you breathe out. And then inhale into the left fingertips, reach high. Trikonasana, exhale, ground into both feet evenly. Three breaths, spiral the heart open. Gaze can be out to the side of the mat or up to the sky. One more big breath in. Stay for the breath out, lean back and come all the way up, inhale, open the arms wide, bend the front knee, warrior two, exhale, flip the front hand, paint the sky, inhale, cartwheel to the earth, exhale, frame the front foot, come high on the fingertips, open the heart, breathe in, plant the hands, step it back to high plank on your breath out, and then shift it forward, inhale, lower down, exhale, vinyasa of your choice, heart opens, and make your way to down dog, take your time. No rush. Breath flows throughout. When you arrive, huge breath in. Long breath out. Left heel slides high this time, breathe in. Look forward, step forward, breathe out. Breath in to find your foundation. Ground down, get strong on the breath out. Your inhale floats you high, and your exhale softens you down. Open the heart, and land the body here. Three breaths. Two. Last huge inhale. Long exhale. And then really breathe into the fingertips as you inhale. Warrior two, exhale, left hand forward, right hand back. Plant the back foot into the mat. And really firmly plant into the back edge, the blade edge of that back foot. Then find your fierce warrior two here. Open the heart to the side of the room. Draw the shoulder blades back together. And then find a softness where you can in the face in the fingertips, maybe in the toes. Two more breaths. One more inhale. Soften down as you exhale. Straight front leg, breathe in. 
sassy hips to the back, breathe out. Reach into the fingertips, inhale. Exhale, left hand down, right hand high, open heart. Three breaths in Trikonasana. Really make them count and let your light shine bright. Two more. Last big inhale, up into the right fingertips. Exhale, open the heart, draw the shoulder back. Inhale, all the way up to standing. Warrior two, breathe out. Peaceful warrior, inhale. Exhale, cartwheel it all the way down. Open the heart, fingertips, inhale. Exhale, plant the hands, last high plank. So a huge breath in, get strong, light the fire in the belly. Slow, lower down, your version of a vinyasa. Let the breath flow, let the heart open. And this time, extended child's pose as you drop the seat back. Knees wide, forehead to the mat. Face soft, eyes closed down. Find your breath. Find stillness. When we're exploring this idea of light, and particularly our own, we can come across several challenges along the way. The most challenging aspect for me is, what about my darkness? What about the parts of me that don't feel so light? And that's when I choose to remember that that is the exact quality of light. Even one tiny candle flame can fill an entire room. So if we let our light shine bright enough, it will find its way into all the dark places. It will find its way through the cracks, through our broken parts, and it will shine through them. And this can be challenging that it starts with an intention. An intention to let your light shine, no matter what it looks like. Two more breaths here. Last inhale. Surrender down on the exhale. And slow breath in to make your way back to downward facing dog. Claw into the fingertips, slow movement. Take your time. Let your body be the teacher. Let it guide you there. When you arrive, shake it out. Shake your tail feather. Or find stillness and breathe. Next breath in, come high on the toes, look forward. Exhale to bend the knees, make your way all the way to the top of the mat. Halfway lift when you arrive, full breath in, nice and slow, long neck. Bow to breathe out. Then roll it up to standing, inhale into the entire body. When you arrive, shoulders to ears. Draw them all the way back down, breathe out, open up. Tadasana, breathe in, ground down. And then inhale, sweep your hands wide and high. We're coming to eagle arms, right arm under as you exhale, left arm over. So first we make this ninja cross with the arms, and then we bring the hands to clasp. And if they don't quite get there, you can bring opposite hand to opposite shoulder. So wherever you are, land. Find length in the spine, find openness in the heart. So when we feel restricted, closed in, how can we create space? Big breath in to draw the elbows up a little higher. Breath out to draw the hands away from the face. Inhale, elbows lift. 
Exhale, shoulders draw down, heart opens. Breath in, create space. And as you breathe out, bend the knees, drop the seat back, and we're gonna lift up the right foot, cross the right knee over the left, and you can bring the tippy toes to the earth as a kickstand, or draw everything into the midline. You can do a double wrap of the legs if that works in your body. To find your fierce eagle gaze, two more breaths here, everything hugs in. Inhaling, exhaling. Now spread your wings high, inhale, reach up, knee comes with the hands. Exhale, foot to earth, hands to heart, close the eyes, breath in. Full breath out. Other side, inhale, reach wide and high. Exhale, left arm under, right arm on top, ninja cross, and then hands interlace, or hold the elbows, give yourself a little hug. Big breath in, long breath out. And then here, we often don't really feel very much like an eagle, like a proud, majestic bird of prey. But this place we're coming to here, this restriction, this tightness, this closed in feeling, is exactly where we must go before we find expansion. This is the eagle on its perch, searching for prey, super still, like a spring coiled. One more breath in here. Exhale, bend the knees, left foot lifts, left knee crosses. And this is even more important than that moment of flight. This is the place where we draw all the energy in and where we let our light shine despite the darkness despite the constriction. One more inhale. Big exhale. Now we take flight. Inhale, spread the wings, lift the knee. Woo. And exhale, draw hands into heart center. Take a moment in stillness. Land here. And then to find lightness in the face of challenge, in the face of the unexpected. Big breath in. Full breath out. Beautiful. Again, sweep the, wide, the wides, the arms, our wings, if you will. Our wings wide, really open up, breathe in. And this time we bow all the way down to the earth. Nice, soft, halfway lift, inhale. Fold, plant the hands, exhale. We're stepping straight to down dog, so inhale, right foot. Exhale, left foot joins it, hips up and back. Ah. Right heel slowly reaches to the sky, as if we like sliding the foot up an invisible wall. And exhale, take your time, right knee comes to the right wrist, setting up for a one-legged pigeon. Back knee drops down, and just straighten out through that back leg, look over your shoulder and check that the toes are nice and pointed. And if the foot kind of slants in, that just means that you're bringing a little bit of extra weight to one side of the knee joint. So try and press down evenly all across that um, kneecap at the back. And then inhale, find lift, find openness in the heart. Exhale, hip front shine forward and then down to the earth as we melt. You can come down halfway or forehead might soften down to the ground. Find your breath, find this moment, and stay here. Notice that the mind has drifted away. Just gently draw it back again to this moment. And now this one. And now 
this one. Each and every moment, a door into the next one. And you just follow it along. Two more breaths, filling up, softening down. One more. Breath out, release. Slowly roll it up, take your time. Plant the hands into the mat. Ooh. And when you're ready, tuck that back toe, lift the knee, press into the hands and step it back, down dog. Maybe you reach the right heel back to the sky, find a little stretch in that leg that was all bent. And then we'll meet in downward facing dog, both feet on the earth. Inhale, left heel to the sky. Exhale, nice and slow, left knee to left wrist, shin plants down. Straighten out the back leg, knee to the earth. Lots of people ask me, where should my front leg be? It's kind of tricky because everyone's body is different. So if your shin comes parallel to the front edge of the mat, then maybe your hips are nice and open and you're able to do that. But most people, the shin will come back a little bit and the foot slightly in towards the body. The real thing we're aiming for is for the hips to be parallel. And as we lower down, both hips lowering simultaneously. So don't worry if you stay quite high. And you can always bring a cushion, a block, or some support to the left hip on this side to kind of allow it to stay a little lifted. Inhale, open your heart, proud pigeon chest here in our one-legged pigeon. And exhale, melt it down, lead with the heart. Bow, surrender, and soften. And here you can imagine you've created a little cave between your front body and the air. Watch as your breath swirls around that cave, like waves in an ocean cave. Breathing deep and spiraling inwards. You might notice sensations that you want to run away from. If there is pain, lift back up out of the pose. If there is discomfort, stick with it and send kind and loving breaths to those areas of the body. Last couple of breaths here. One more big breath in. Completely surrender on your breath out. And slowly roll it up. Drop down onto your left hip and swing the right leg all the way around, planting the right foot down into the mat. Setting yourself up for seated twists. If the right hip straight away lifts up off the ground, straighten the left leg out. Find a little more of a firmer foundation. Wherever you are, find length, bring hands to the front of the knee. Really sit up tall as you breathe in. And then just swing the right hand round behind you. Twist, breathe out. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, bring the knee into the elbow crease or hook the elbow. So this is more of... Um, a kind of a stronger um, twist than where we started at the beginning of class. So really use the strength in the upper body and then gently use the arms to twist the torso around. Maybe your gaze comes back past your right shoulder. Inhale, find length. Exhale, let your heart shine open. 
two more breaths. Last big exhale. Then gentle twist to the opposite side. So leap the knee and the, sorry, both legs where they are. Just bring hands down to the left side, chin drops to chest, two breaths. Nice, and then come all the way back upright. And here we're gonna be really purposeful and mindful about our movement. So just guiding the right foot over towards the right, and then bringing the left foot over to the left, bending the right knee and bringing um, the right foot in towards the seat. And then cross the left foot over, grounding the left foot down into the earth, letting that be part of your foundation here. Again, yogi's choice to straighten out that right leg to find a little more um, grounding in the sit bones. And wherever you are, know that that is perfect for you and that you're listening to your body. Hands on the knees, find length to sit up tall, inhale. Exhale, left fingertips float round this time. Breathe in to find length. Breathe out to twist, knee into elbow crease or elbow hooks round. Then really find a growing tool out of the crown of your head. Maybe even come back to that image of the light reaching for the sunlight above the head. And use your breath out to spiral open. Gaze goes back. Two more breaths. Full breath out. Back through center as you inhale and just release to the opposite side. Counter twist. Slowly come back upright. Really focus in on the legs. Take your gaze off the video and use your hands to guide your feet purposefully back to the earth. Soles of the feet plant down, knees to the sky. Then hands come to the knees and we just sit up really nice and tall. Inhale, open the heart. Exhale, slow lower down all the way to the mat. Setting yourself up for bridge pose. Soles of the feet come in close to the seat. <clears throat> Back body grounds down. Feet underneath the knees and knees the same width apart as the hips. So everything nice and aligned. And then when we think of backbend, we often think of it being a heart opener or, um, or even just focusing in on the back body. And instead here for our bridge pose, we're going to bring the awareness to the entire body. Make this a full body experience. So firstly, bring your gaze to the sky, find a fixed point to rest it on, and then bring your internal gaze, your inner eye to the soles of the feet. Soles of the feet press down really firmly. Ten toes can lift up off the earth to find a little more switching on of the muscles in the lower legs and in the feet. And then take a huge breath into the belly, let it balloon to the sky. Exhale, belly button pins down through the spine to the earth and tailbone starts to peel up. Then on your inhale, keep going, lift the tailbone, lift the mid back and lift the upper back as you press into the feet and use the strength of the legs to lift you high. Shoulders can shimmy under the back body, hands can interlace behind. And then find your breath here, use it to expand you to lift the heart high. And then ground down into the foundation on each exhale. Three more breaths here. One last expansive inhale. Uninterlace the hands and slow lower down on the exhale. Just windscreen wiper the knees from side to side, release in the lower back. Nice little glute massage as well, particularly if you're on a wooden floor, this can feel really good. Then come back to neutral, set yourself up for bridge number two. It's just allowing our body to open up a little bit more each time. And then go for your personal checklist. So soles of the feet, legs switch on, belly fills up, belly draws down to spine, tailbone peels, 
Inhale to press into the feet and find that expansion, that lift. Maybe the hands interlace behind the back body, this time shoulders shimmy under. And then and let each inhale be a chance for the heart to lift towards the chin. Each exhale allows the back body and the back of the head to press down a little more. Inhale, heart lifts to chin. Exhale, back of head presses down, chin lifts to sky. Inhale to open. Exhale to ground. Two more. Last big breath in, make it really expansive. And slow, lower down all the way to the earth. Take that windscreen wiper in the knees. Completely release in the lower back. And then Yogi's choice for our third back bend. Really try to let go of the ego here and let the body make the decision. Eva soles of the feet together, knees wide. Supta Baddha Konasana for a more restorative option. Or bridge pose number three. If your back body is feeling nice and supple and open and like you are happy to breathe into that space. So your body knows what it needs. Listen carefully. If you're coming into bridge pose number three, let your body be the teacher. Go through your checklist as and when you're ready. You have the next eight breaths to play. Wherever you are, let your heart fall open and let your breath move you, expand you, open you up and ground you down. Last couple of breaths, wherever you are. And when you're ready, if you're in bridge, lower down and we'll all meet in Supta Baddha Konasana. Soles of the feet press together, knees drop out wide. Then really purposefully, left hand comes to the heart, right hand to the belly. Body falls open, heart falls open, mind falls open. Breathe into both hands evenly and close down your eyes. Let gravity do the work for you here. Now, yogi's choice, either stay here for your shavasana, if you're feeling nice and comfy, or slowly just straighten one leg and then the other to come to corpse pose, legs out long, body soft. Wherever you land, let your mind land there too. Use your breath to anchor you to this moment and the next, and the next. There's a famous quote from Yogi Bhajan that simply says, travel light, 
Live light. Spread the light. Be the light. Take a moment to consider how you can be the light for yourself and others as you step off the mat today. And know that it starts here with accepting the light that you have to shine that is unique to you no matter what it looks like today. Take a breath, a big breath in to both hands evenly here. And let it out through the mouth. Gently wriggle the fingers and toes. Bring circles to the ankles and wrists. Fingertips reach up and overhead. Point the toes, reach into the hands. Take a big breath in. And soften down, release, breath out. <sighs> Bend one knee, then the other up into the chest. Give yourself a loving hug, squeeze them in tight. And when you're ready, release to one side, yogi's choice. Let the body land on the mat. Notice how supported you are by Mother Earth. And notice how you feel. And use your hands and the strength of the arms to guide you back up to your comfortable seat. Eyes closed, hands together at heart center. Take a full breath into the entire body. And let it out through the mouth. Bring the light from your heart up to your third eye. The light in me sees and honors the light in each and every one of you. We bow to ourselves and to each other. Namaste. Thank you for practicing with me today. I hope you were able to find a little light in your heart. Maybe take a moment to post a comment down below on how you intend to share your light with the world today as you step off your mat. And if you would like to stay updated on every video, make sure you hit subscribe before you sign off. There's also Christmas Calm coming up from the 24th to the 28th of December. To find out more, click on the video called Christmas Calm Intro. And if you're not currently receiving your Friday love letter, then um, send me an email. I'll put my email address in the information below and I'll sign you up so you can receive a little love note every Friday to your inbox with the link to each of these videos. Love you lots. Have a beautiful day.